how's it, how's it been since you arrived here? How is the feeling here for you? Um, I mean, it's just a, it's a great atmosphere. I mean, with, with so many new guys coming in, just really understanding the culture that, that Coach Gruden wants and his staff. I mean, just, we're just working all together, and it's really starting to feel like one. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, the, this opportunity, because many people don't get a second chance. So, I mean, I was just blessed to be able to, to, to get another chance and, and just make the best of it. Have you heard anything from the league? Um, no, I haven't. No. How quickly do you feel like you've been able to pick up the defense since you've been here? It's been pretty solid. I mean, I uh, played pretty, pretty similar in, when I was in Carolina, so it wasn't too much to learn except for the terminology. That was really the, the biggest switch, and, and being able to speak the same language as the coaches is really the biggest thing that I had had a challenge with. You played play mostly outside corner? Yes, sir. Do you that, lean on – is that where you feel more comfortable? Yes. Do you lean on guys like Leon Reggie, guys who have played in Paul's defense before? Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, not only not only have they played it in Coach Gunther's defense, they've – I mean, they've played in this NFL for a long time. I mean, guys that have double-digit years. I mean, you just have you have to soak up the knowledge whenever you can. I mean, asking questions, even even when you may not have necessarily a question, just be able to see how, how they see it and does it relate to yours. Having known Carl for a long time, coming out here to a new team, a new environment, a new everything uh, in the middle of the offseason program, is he kind of easier transition? I, I guess he was asked about you, and he had glowing things to say. That kind of helped you. Oh. Uh, Yes, definitely. I mean, Carl's my guy. I mean, we had three years together in West Virginia and uh, ended up coming into the NFL at the same time. So, I mean, he kind of got me acclimated to everything, even though he, he may have had a few few uh, weeks in front of the coaches in front of me. I mean, he just let me know what they expect. And being able to come in and make the transition was, was, was very helpful. He'd probably be the first person to tell you that, although he's been able to get some experience, he still has rooms that you know, he wants to elevate his game further. I'm sure, sorry, your career hasn't quite gone the way you've envisioned either. How do you feel like being here together? You both kind of push each other and kind of feed off each other to eventually both together take your game to the next level. Yes, that's definitely a thing that we talked about. And I mean, it's, it's definitely time to take it to the next level. I mean, with us both being in our third year, we know that it's time to elevate our game it's, it's the same exact way we did in college. I mean, just, we always push each other, whether it's on the field, off the field. I mean, we have little talks, and, and uh, whether it's said or it's not said, we're always competing to be able to make plays. For you, how do you elevate your game? What does that mean to you? Um, just being able to compete each and every day, continue to get better. I mean, against the top guys out here, uh, just continuing the work, uh, being able to, to being able to prove to the coaches that I can make plays, be consistent each and each, uh, play in and play out, no, no matter the situation. What's your approach been just coming here in this opportunity and making sure that this one is the one that sticks for you? Um, it's, it's really been I've been an open book and uh, really just letting the coaches and the players around me just make their imprint and and I, I adjust accordingly. Just being able to. Go out there, show show them that I am for the team. Being able to continue to work, uh, make the plays that come my way, continue to compete, and show and show the guys that that I am here to work. Two more guys. Daryl, this team finished last in the NFL in interceptions last year. It might be a simple question, but to you, what is the formula to getting an interception? Do you see yourself as a guy that can help that? Oh yes, definitely. I mean, with the uh, ball skills that I that I had coming out of college, just being able to transition that and be able to make those plays on the ball is is big for us. And I mean, that's one thing. I mean, we have a bunch of different guys that have come from a, a bunch of different places. We've been trying to emphasize of making more plays on the ball. I mean, everyone everyone wants to do it. I mean, it's, it's easier said than done. But I mean, as long as we're working and, and continuing to compete, it, sh it should be pretty good. You mentioned, you mentioned getting a second chance here. Now that you kind of have you know, found a new place, how do you sort of reflect on the experience that you had going to Philadelphia for a very short time? And then, and then who, I guess, how did the Raiders reach out to you? And, how did that whole thing um, Honestly, I just took it as a learning experience. I mean, it, it, it's something that happened. I mean, you can't change the past. Just like plays on the field, you can't change what happened. You just have to move on to the next one. And I mean, and I was thankful uh, when I talked to Coach Gruden on the phone. It was a it was a very passionate conversation. I mean, he was understanding. I mean, people make mistakes in life, and and it's not it's not about the mistake. It's about whether you learn from it and what you do con continuing to go forward in the future. Thanks, guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, so he said that he talked to a lot of your former college teammates and coaches, and a lot of people went to bat for you. How much did that that mean for you that they that they uh, had some some words of support? Uh, that definitely means a lot. I mean, just just uh, being able to have other people speak for your character it, it says says a lot about you. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks. No problem. Thanks.